Hello everybody, uh, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be doing V of our H is Z times 2, but unfortunately I think my printer needs some ink and I need to restock it so the print didn't come out very nice. But what we're going to be doing on V is vertical. And I I saw this idea, I think, on uh, the Trace, the Foxy Crafters, the Foxy Crafters uh, Facebook group, and I thought, wow, vertical, that's awesome. Let's let's see what we can do with vertical. And I kind of, I think, I can't remember who said vertical or suggested vertical, but I'm sure the person said something about like vertical lines or whatever. So I thought, okay, if I have to um, put my spin or my understanding on what vertical, uh, you know, could mean to me, and um, if I just changed it up a bit, to me, um, apart from vertical lines, um, I thought, well, what about anything that we create in our junk journal that is vertical um, that means that we uh, kind of journal in a vertical way our ephemera are placed in a vertical way and why that appealed to me so much is one thing as drunk journalists I don't know if you do it but I certainly do it I bulk up the bottom of the page and then I realize, oh, there's too much of ephemera sitting at the bottom of the page. And then I bulk up the top. So I bulk up the bottom left, and then I go and bulk up the top right. And I thought with the vertical, it gives it more of a uh, balance, a balance in your journal in terms of your ephemera. So uh, today I'm not, I, I've got so much to show you that I'm not actually going to, um, I'm not going to make anything vertical, but I want to give you ideas of vertical. Now this is a gigantic, as you can see it, junk journal. It doesn't even close properly. So I just took out the, um, the sari ribbon that holds it in place and I left it to one side and I wanted to show you, this must have been my second or my third junk journal that I made. And most of the images on this junk, I mean, sorry, ideas in this junk journal was from Corey Darman. I was so, um, I, I think I watched every episode of her uh, flips, flaps and folds. And um, I, I loved her ideas. I, I speak about Corey Darman all the time. Uh, I think she's an amazing crafter. And uh, she has absolutely gorgeous ideas and her youtube channel is also called cory darman c-o-r-i and i think it's d-a-h-m-e-n and i'm probably butchering her surname but that is it and i'll try to link her down below but most of the ideas that are in this junk journal are from cory uh darman and uh, this um i've got a various um what's this word is uh, digitals in here and uh, but this one is Scarborough Scarborough oh, I think so uh, by Janie B journals so Scarborough by Janie B journals and she has an Etsy shop but in here I've got other uh, digitals as well and I'm not going to I'm not going to mention all the names because trust me I don't remember them okay so i will try to if i remember uh, i'll try to highlight the ones on the pages i'm going to be showing to you whether they are from jenny b from the kit or not because not all are from the kit right and then we'll carry on so let's look at our first um first um what's this word what i would call vertical uh, uh vertical ephemera so we can journal vertically is something like this which is our belly band and you see it's tucked in the middle i mean not tucked but it's made in the middle right and then 
um, it is uh, got big tags in them pretty big tags so the tags are big enough that they also sit in the middle sorry I don't know if you can see that um, let me try better okay because it's a really really fat journal I've learned a lot from it beautiful ideas in here but I, uh, uh, in fact if I can help it I'm gonna cut this journal down by half and make two journals out of it because there's two signatures here but they are literally like one journal thick so just need to get the time to do it this is I remember I told you I do my Bible journaling and since I can't um, what's this word I can't draw so I kind of write my notes over here and uh, it's just a bit different that I do Bible journaling um, yeah it's also to help me remember okay so we all have our different ways uh, yeah so there's a, a belly band that uh, up until <laughs> now I forgot that I could write in it and that's why it's blank uh, I just realized now I could write in it but yes yeah, so this is a belly band with very thick uh, big um, journaling cards etc in here to be able to actually take up the whole place a uh, page sorry and balance it out so that's one uh, the next one oh yes and that wasn't uh, that wasn't Jane that wasn't the kit okay uh, so the next one is here like yeah so this is part of the kit and this as well now oh my god I think this idea was from Gail Augustinelli um, you can make it taller okay and you don't have to put it to the side you can put it in the middle but it is a uh, like a pocket here I don't know what you called it sorry I can't remember a pocket here and I think I changed mine up a bit I can't remember because I seem to think I, I put another piece of what I was making on this somewhere else and then a pocket there so I could have changed it up and then it's got a little booklet here so if you make it taller then you you using your whole page and um, and if you put it more to the middle it means and you can make it wider you can do whatever you want to but this is another idea of vertical journaling this year is a um, like a just like a fold out like that and I think I got this idea from Shabby Dabby Duda uh, from Tina in Sh at Shabby Dabby Duda and it's just a booklet like a booklet kind of a thing and yes you watch these ladies channels if you uh, there's too many that uh, ideas from quite a few people that I've got so but the main ones did come from Corey so I think I'll link her channel but I'll if I remember where I got the idea from uh, then I'm going to let you know as well but this one was from Shabby Dabby Duda and this is part of the kit that's part of the kit as well okay oh and the idea about this was I tried to match up that butterfly because it's the same page there, I tried to kind of match up the butterfly from there to there okay uh, then there's another idea over here and this I believe came from Cory uh, and these are the um, the places where you can journal in so if I take that out that becomes a journaling spot as well push that in take that out that becomes a journaling spot as well and then um, add that to that and then there's a pocket over here so once again also from the kit a nice big tag also once again using up quite I, I, I don't remember whether it was a tag in the kit or I cut it I don't know I can't remember this journal was made a long time ago but I, I, I journal in many um, journals so uh, so I journal for different things in different journals so you won't always find me journaling in one book um, so yeah could be a tag or could be something I cut out I can't remember as I mentioned the kit uh, I did this long ago a long time ago but that was also I believe from the kit so what's the next one here uh, 
yes so this one here uh, this I believe was also from Cory so it is a long ca uh, a card and this this is uh, one of the freebies from Artie Mays so it goes in the and also a freebie from Artie Mays a nice long journaling card and all this is is like a page then you fold down the flip and you make it into a pocket and sew it down and uh, you have two small little tags as well here at the bottom that can go in here okay so that once again using the entire space with vertical journaling in it uh, don't have any idea why this landed here it's probably from there uh, then this is one of the envelopes also vertical journaling here um, I may have seen this idea first in Carol Tol Tolson and uh, I believe I don't know it looks like I sprayed this page green yeah yeah I did because look at that otherwise and then it's just Oh, I can't remember whether this is Carol Tilson's idea now when I open it so sorry I can't remember but there's just some journaling um, pages in here okay and you can flip it over and you can also journal here and here and um, it goes into the page like this so that's also vertical journaling there this is from Cory and it is a flip over so uh, I believe it's one piece of cardboard and then flipped you know covered I mean <laughs> covered oh my god folded in half I think and then we added pockets to it and there's a pocket over here this is a pocket with a journaling card in it ah sorry I this was made quite a long while ago another journaling card in the in another journaling card in there with a pocket so one, two, three pockets on this side, and then on this side, uh, there's two pockets. So, for bigger journaling cards here. And, uh, yes, I hope I'm doing these justice. I'm just saying, and another journaling card here. Okay, so all together, you get two flips, and you have four, five cards to journal in. Okay, so that's a good way of of using vertical space here but I, I showed you this right it's the one with the envelope this year this idea here I got from Carol Tolson that much I know um, here are our normal tucks nothing different just our normal tucks over here with big journaling cards in them you can make them even bigger uh, on this side I think I it could be Cory as well so all this is is um, like a booklet does it go yes oh let me do that rather it starts from this side here and uh, it folds over to that side so it's folded in three and on this side it's got a pocket okay here I think it's a idea and then a, 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 a like a like a vellum or pocket over here so a double pocket on this side for journaling and you can journal all over here remember that and then you turn it over and then it's got your double folded part here with journaling here 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 and then also a pocket on this side and this also is a freebie from Artie Mays yeah and I think I could have had freebies on Artie yeah, that was Auntie Mesa's freebie there as well, but I showed you that already. Uh, then now you understand why I need to cut this book in journal in half because it's way too big. And then on this side, also, I think it's Cory again. We it's one piece of um paper and with pockets on it and I think it's folded here I think it's folded here but I'm not here to give tutorials right so 
I'm just telling you where yes I found it and I'm sure you can go and look at her videos and find it if you are interested in it um, yeah so I think it was just folded in half uh, vertically and then um, the this side was uh, made into pockets and I think stitched let's see yes they were stitched oh no they weren't okay they weren't stitched okay so they were just folded in half and this was just cut down to a third so this became journaling journaling spots over here sorry journaling spots here and then tags on this side here okay so that was from that chunky 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 book Now this was an altered book, my very, very first altered book. It's a mess now. But yeah, what I wanted to show you on this one is very similar to that idea, but it didn't go flip over. And here I just made three uh, pockets, okay, three pockets with journaling space on it. Okay, you can, you can see that journaling space on it and I think I could have got this idea from someone on Facebook but this was nearly two years or more ago 2020 yes so and probably August 2020 or something so I can't remember with who this idea came from and at that time I was just doing it and I wasn't taking note of people you know I would comment on the, the maybe on the post or whatever but i wasn't taking note of people to because I, I i didn't even have a youtube channel then and then this year i think i think it could be carol tilson's idea okay like a little belly bandy and then a scrappy notebook so you can use that as journaling as well this was definitely carol tilson's idea i remember that this book is very much inspired by carol tilson Okay, so that was that one. And then on my last completed journal, which I still have to give you a flip through on. I think I have one or two here. Yes, so this remember was our belly band that we could open up a different type of a belly band. Take your page out there and then this opened up like this. Here for your journaling on this side and then four pay four on that side. So that was that one there. And then it closed up and then you had this. And you can also uh, add a I did add a, add a pocket over here. I did, but I didn't put anything in it. I must remember to put something in it. And then you just closed it up like that so the whole idea about this is you know not just having my tucks and my pockets to the sides but trying to use up page um, the page all together and also trying to keep some balance on the journal in terms of uh, it not becoming top or bottom heavy kind of right and then I think the last one was because I seem to have a sticker over here. Well, that's also vertical journaling there. Kind of. And then, yes, your normal tucks over here. Tucks with your big cards. So the cards go from the top to the bottom in some way or the other and uh, kind of level it out there. So, yes, so uh, those are some of my. Um, tips on all the ways I use vertical uh, for journaling to balance out my journals uh, I've learned a lot <laughs> from that that um, that one junk journal with the butterflies in it uh, in my author book my very first project so I learned a lot from it and I think I'm 
you know you can only try to do things better <clears throat> and then that's all for today from the vertical point of view <clears throat> the last time I checked my YouTube channel um, it was sitting at 489 subscribers <clears throat> excuse me and I mentioned that I was going to do a giveaway at 500 subscribers so that is coming up sooner than I expected uh, so <clears throat> I just want to let you know about the rules of uh, the um, the competition okay so um, it's open to everybody and that's the reason why uh, the uh, the prize will be um, a digital kit from my Etsy store uh, the winner can pick a digital kit from my Etsy store and uh, unfortunately they won't be able to buy through Etsy because Etsy doesn't allow for me to give you a hundred percent discount so um, the winner can get in touch with me and uh, they can uh, get in touch with me when they want to say that they know that they are the winners and also that uh, when they, they've chosen their um, uh, kit uh, they can get in touch with me and I will add them to the drop box of the kit and they can access it that way Because that's the only way I can give it out for free. Okay So what are the rules? Uh, for uh, this on this video? Okay, so on this video uh, If you have watched it then the rules to um, for the competition are simple uh, or to qualify for the competition are simple um, this video that's going up today the one on verticals from the HZ times 2 uh, verticals week 22 is that you need to um, like and comment okay so I will whoever comments on the video they stand a chance to uh, win the digital I mean sorry they stand a chance to be in the draw Okay, um, if you are in the draw, you you must also be a subscriber. So you got to like, uh, you got to comment, you got to be a subscriber, and you got to comment on this video, which is the vertical video. Um, so like, comment, must be a subscriber. So then, what I will do is that I will take all the people that commented. I will go and look at my YouTube channel. I would see whether they are subscribers. If they are subscribers, then um, I can verify them uh, and uh, they will be in the draw. So it's no good just having a subscription. You have to have a subscription. You have to like, you have to comment on the video. Um, just even one word, whether it's positive or whether it's uh, um, something, a suggestion, or whatever the case may be, it doesn't really matter, okay? As long as you comment on it, because I I use that in the random uh, drawing. I put all the people that commented, and I verify the subscribers, okay? And then I will, um, uh, the one thing I said to in my other video was that if, Let's say you are a subscriber, uh, but you don't make your subscription um, uh, public. I think that's the word, public. I can't pick you up as a subscriber. So I may have, at the moment, 489 subscribers, but I researched it, and it, it says it's 489, but when I go in to verify, I can't see 489 because some people choose not to make their subscription uh, public. So I only know a number as 489. I will only be able to check the subscribers if I can see your subscription. I hope it's making sense. Okay, and it's not a, a rule I have. It's how it works, okay? So if you want, I'm not forcing you to, but if you want to stand a chance to be in the draw and you've commented, but your subscription status is not um, uh, public, I won't be able to verify that you are a subscriber. 
Okay, so once I am able to verify that those that commented are subscribers, okay, then um, I keep that on uh, a list. And then what I do is that I, um, um, what's this word? I when, I, when I do the draw, whoever's name comes up, I look to see whether they were a subscriber and then they are valid. And then that would be the person. We will do the draw. I can't tell you when I would do the draw, but I know it will be pretty soon because I mean, we already had 489 subscribers. Um, if you not clear on the rules, I will mention it again in my next video. So as soon as I hit uh, the uh, 500 subscriber, I will do the draw on a weekend. Um, but I will have maybe one or two videos uh, before the, uh, even if I reach 500 subscribers, I will have one or two videos after that to just remind you to comment on this video because I have to do it per video. So I've chosen this video here to be the one where if you have comments or whatever and you put it on. So I will be drawing up, drawing from this video here. Okay. And, um, yes. So even when we reach 500, I'll maybe have one or two videos just telling you about it, then announcing the draw date to you and things like that. So, so I hope you don't mind. Um, I'll try to get better at, uh, doing this. Uh, I've only done it once before for a hundred subscribers. Uh, the other thing I wanted to let you know is that we've got today, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> tomorrow today tomorrow and the 31st uh, of May uh, for our Facebook group uh, uh, competition and what was that competition was that anyone on our Facebook group uh, they don't have to be a subscriber on the YouTube channel okay that's not the requirement if they are on the Facebook group Sunny Creates and they posted at least one picture photo of their creation for the month of uh, May, they stand a chance to win a digital kit as well. And uh, yeah, that is it. So if you haven't as yet joined Sunny Creates Junk Journals, please do so and post anything. It doesn't have to be video related. It doesn't have to be anything about any of the tutorials I do or videos I do. That's not the idea. The idea is to share. Uh, share what you love doing with people who love doing the same thing okay and uh, just share the, it they put two sentences one sentence one word it doesn't really matter okay and um, just just show us what you've done and you you are in the draw already for uh, or you stand a chance to win a digital kit unfortunately I can't do a uh, journal giveaways I, I already spoke about that but I don't want to make this video too long, but one of the reasons why I can't give journal giveaways is because I live in South Africa. Postage throughout the world is crazy and you saw how fat my journals are. <laughs> so I'll probably be bankrupt. Um, so, <laughs> yes. So anyway, I hope you all had an awesome Sunday. It's, it's yeah, 4.37 here in South Africa and um, I'm rushing to get these videos out. I've got done two this week. Uh, one for last week because I wasn't well and uh, one for this week and please have an awesome rest of the week and take care have a blessed week ahead and uh, lots of love from me at Sunny Creates bye bye